Hi, today I'd like to show you a bit more of the topic editing in Novamind 5. So let's start with a new topic and start editing it. A single click selects the topic and another single click starts editing at the place that you clicked. If you double click on a word, it selects the word and if you triple click, it selects all the text on the topic. Press enter or return to finish editing. If you want to put a new line in the text, press Ctrl Enter on Windows or Command Return on Mac. You'll notice that as you type, the topic grows to fit the text, but if you manually set the width of the topic, it will lock to that width and wrap your text to suit. If you want to unlock it again so that it uses the automatic sizing, just click on the lock icon. If you manually set the height of a topic, then it will try to maintain that height unless the text you have in the topic forces it to be taller. If you subsequently make the text take up less height, the topic will again shrink until it gets to your preferred size that you set, and then hold it at that. Again, if you want to release the lock on the height and revert to automatic sizing, just click on the lock icon at the top of the topic. You can drag on images from your web browser, from the file system, or from the Novamind graphics library. When you drag it on, you see an indicator showing where you can drop it and where it will end up. So let's drop this image on the left of the topic. Now when we select the topic, the first click selects the topic, and then if you click on the image, it selects it so that you can resize or move it to another location on the topic like this or you can hold down the control key on Windows or option key on Mac to copy the image to another place on the same topic or copy it to another topic. If you want to delete an image, just select it and press the delete key. Now for the purposes of our demonstration, we'll make the topic a bit bigger and select this image. As you can see, you have two bars on the image which allow you to resize the image area. Now the actual size of the image within the area is initially set so that the image is scaled to fit within the area available to it. But you can right click on it to bring up the context menu to select whether the image should scale to fit the area like this, or stretch to fit the area like this. Also, you will notice that when you resize the image in a way that constrains the text, it will leave the text wrapping where you've set it to and the lock icon will show. When you're editing the text, when you have an image on the left or right, you have the resize bar available to resize the text and allow more or less room for the text, which again, of course, locks the text to that width and if you want to release it, you would click the lock icon. So let's have a look at some examples of the ways that you might like to use images. So that fills you in on some aspects of topic editing and I'll be in touch in a while with some more information about Novamind 5.